Good morning, Laurel Spartans. I'm Hannah Seifert. And I'm Maddie Burgess, and this is your WLTV News Team. Happy Friday, everyone. Today is April 28th, 2023, and it is a day six. Please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the playing of Laurel's alma mater. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Today for lunch, we'll be having buffalo chicken pinwheel or grilled cheese panini with carrots and corn. Hey, Hannah, have you met the new principal? Mm, kind of, but not really. Well, let's take a look on an interview at our new principal, Mr. Lake. Morning, Laurel High School. I was asked to uh, talk a little bit about myself. Uh, I went to Mohawk High School and graduated there and went to Slipper Rock University and earned my degree in secondary ed and uh, with a uh, concentration in social studies. Um, from there, I was hired at Riverside School District for one year teaching social studies. Then I made my transition to Elwood City, the high school. I taught there for a number of years. It was the assistant principal and also the head principal. Um, this is my 25th year in education, finishing my 25th year now at Laurel. Um, I have two daughters, one is 20 years old, the other one is a junior at Mohawk currently. Um, we have two dogs, two golden retrievers, Joey and Jasper. Um, as far as hobbies go, um, anything with my family, any interests, whether it's vacation or going on small trips or even out to dinner or to movies or uh, taking the dogs for a walk, um, those are the favorite things that I like to do uh, in my day. So, I'm the 16th teacher in uh, my family. So, it's one thing that, that my family has always done. My great grandfather taught school for 50 years, my dad taught school for 43, my grandma taught school for 35. Um, my brother's a principal at Mars. Um, there's been principals, there's been college professors. It's one thing that uh, my family has always done has been involved with education. So um, education just came sort of naturally to me and an opportunity at Elwood came available to be a principal. I decided to, to make that plunge into administration and I've been doing that ever since. As far as Laurel, um, I've lived in Lawrence County my whole life so I understand most of the schools in Lawrence County. I know that Laurel has a lot of great things that go on here. Um, with their students. It's very similar to what I grew up with at Mohawk with the farming community. So it definitely was an interest to me when it became available after Mr. Frenzel left that uh, I applied and now I'm here. The biggest thing for me is to learn. Um, I need to learn not only the students, but the, the faculty and the whole procedural aspects of Laurel. And uh, starting in April, it is can be difficult, but at the same time be a positive. I'm looking at it to be a positive where I get a couple months under my belt of learning the procedures, learning the staff, learning the students, and then having the summer to digest that and then start a new school year come August uh, on the right foot. Um, so the biggest thing now for me in the next couple months is to just learn everything and what goes on. The students in the, in the faculty, um, that's the, my favorite part of the job anywhere I am. Um, that's why we're here as educators, it's for the students. Seeing the students every day walking through the building, uh, coming in in the morning um, at athletic events, or like I said on the stage, we have upcoming we have a band concert coming up, and then, you know, how the seniors and juniors handle themselves at the prom. So all those aspects are part of education. Um, it's just not the classroom. Um, I know I haven't been able to get into many classrooms yet to see the academic side, but that's something I'm looking forward to as well um, in my first couple months here. Advice that I give this students at Laurel is the advice I give to any student. Uh, do the right thing. Um, it's, it's very difficult to do in some cases, 
but in every avenue and aspect of your life, if you do the right thing, then you're always going to succeed. Uh, failure very rarely comes with doing the right thing, whether it's at home, whether it's at school, whether it's you know athletically, or whether it's on the stage when you're performing, um, whatever aspect of your life that you're doing, if you do the right thing, then great things happen. It's great to have you here at Laurel, Mr. Light. Hey, Maddie, have you watched past the student of the month showcase recently? Yeah, but I haven't seen who's in it yet. Oh, well, let's take a look at April's student of the month showcase and a get to know them. I'm the son of a third generation. Uh, my favorite memory's got to be uh, hanging out in the ag room, going to farm show, uh, trout stocking. That's about it. Uh, after high school, I'm just going to work, and then if I change my mind, I'm going to a trade school. Three miles of cars laying on their horns. Uh, definitely Dusty and Daddy down there in the ag room, the teachers, and my father. Like a big parade of late work. Uh, my showcase is just a bunch of pictures that I've uh, got taken of myself throughout the years of my life. And then my FFA jacket, uh, my Keystone degree, a trophy, and a cool banner that says stud on it. Excuse me for trying to do my job, but this year ain't been no buffer. Uh, have fun. Don't stress about school. It's not a big deal. That's about it. Congratulations, Cody. Don't forget to check out our WLTV News Instagram and the Spartan Shield. This concludes your Friday's newscast. Remember, here at Laurel, we are kind, safe, and, and responsible. responsible.